marketing. This. Nassim Agdam used YouTube so itself to rail against the company. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube. Today, law enforcement confirmed that anger drove the 38-year-old to unleash a hail of bullets at YouTube's headquarters. So far, investigators say there's no evidence Agdam knew her victims. It is believed that the suspect was upset with policies and practices of YouTube. Agdam attacked YouTube employees outside eating lunch, repeatedly firing a semi-automatic Smith & Wesson handgun registered in her name. We hear a couple pops. Um, I thought it was like a nail gun or something. Three people were shot before the shooter took her own life. Police say Ogdom was at a gun range just hours before practicing. The evidence at the scene suggests that she, she was not super proficient. Ogdom was a prolific social media user and animal rights yeah, activist. Bura, bura. This is a 2009 photo protesting the use of pigs during military exercises. She lived with her family in San Diego, earning money in part from four separate, well, often offbeat, YouTube channels. Issue. Her but father confirmed to NBC News that recent changes in YouTube's policy stopped everything, and now she has no income. My work capped video gets age restricted. According to police, her family filed a missing persons report on Monday. The parents warned police, be careful, maybe she's angry at YouTube, because she has this anger for one year. Agdam drove north to Mountain View, 30 miles south of YouTube's offices, where her license plate was spotted. The police department says they found Ogden here asleep in her car at nearly two in the morning. Officers described her as being calm and cooperative. She said she was in the area looking for a job. Not once did she mention YouTube. The Mountain View police called the family. Her father said she may be heading to YouTube. The police did not notify the company. There was nothing in those conversations that uh, the officer felt uh, rose to a level in which there was any specific concern or threat to YouTube. But today, Ogdom's brother, who does not want to be recognized, says the family was worried. Therefore, they call and they promised me they're going to watch her. And that happened to Rose. Here at YouTube, employees were back at work today while two of the three injured victims were released from the hospital. The third was upgraded from critical to serious condition. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.